roller coasters, trampolines, drop towers. These are some activities we look forward to enjoying after this pandemic. Imagine being strapped on a chair and raised to about 40 meter high and be surprised by a controlled trap of 76 kilometers per hour. It surely spends a lot of energy lifting 15 to 20 people to that height, but isn't it another energy that the passengers of the ride increasingly attain while they are raised to the top? What makes the ride more exciting and terrifying as well is the energy accumulated as the altitude increases. That stored energy of the cabin and the passengers gives them the potential to transform it to something kinetic as they fall to the ground. Imagine them being replaced by watermelons. Falling without safety harness, we would expect the watermelons crushed as they land on the ground. What gives them the capacity to perform that work? It is the potential energy they gain after being raised to a height. Will they crash the same way if they are dropped only at knee height? Potential energy is gained when any object is lifted or placed at a certain height with respect to the ground. Gravitational force is exerting a downward attractive force to that object, giving them the potential to transform the energy any moment they release or go off the surface where they are lying. Have you wondered what happens when a car and a load are dropped at the same time? With the absence of air resistance, the car and the load would reach the ground at the same time. But which carries greater amount of potential energy? If you have thought it's the car, you have a greater chance to becoming the next science genius. The car possesses greater potential energy because of its mass. You would expect your 4 and 18-wheeler truck to have much greater potential energy than the car if both are located at the same height. If you want to confirm that mathematically, you could compute it by multiplying the mass of the truck to the height at which it is in position with respect to the ground and the acceleration due to gravity. The excitement is just revving up when the roller coaster climbs up the ramp. The fun begins when this potential energy is transformed as the roller coaster slides down the ramp and gains velocity. As the coaster gains velocity, the energy is transformed to kinetic energy or the energy of motion. Do you notice that it is getting more and more exciting as it slides lower and lower? This is because velocity and kinetic energy are maximum at the lowest point of the roller coaster. The maximum kinetic energy is great enough for the roller coaster to climb once again, giving its passengers exhilarating experience. The kinetic energy depends on the mass and velocity of the object. Kinetic energy of the roller coaster is equal to the product of the mass of the coaster with the passengers and half the square of the coaster's velocity. Kinetic energy is equal to mv squared over 2. Have you learned something after watching this video? Let us know by leaving a comment or hitting the subscribe button for more contents.